Let's do the computer. Hi, Tenille. Okay, just to give everyone a bit of a summary of what we're going to talk about tonight. So um, we're going to go through uh, a few things that we picked up from the um, Presidential Diamond Mentoring Circle that Jess and I went to on Monday and Tuesday this week up in Service Paradise. So it'll be a really quick summary and what what we'll do also is we'll go into some more detail in, on some of the subjects and do Facebook Lives and, and get some more information out there for everyone. But tonight will just be a bit of a um, bit of a recap and there'll still be some juicy information in there that everyone can use. But um, yeah, there'll be more detail coming up in a couple of days. So we'll go through things like growing your team, um, maximising your income, which was a good discussion to have, um, mentoring, up-level inviting, which was a talk was that was really done by one? Jesse Rimers, and LRP, how to increase your LRP uptake, which was um, presented by Paul Ovens at the summit. So, so basically what it was, <coughs> was a, oh, we've lost a few people, I don't know what just happened. Anyway, basically what it was, was a platinums and above, and normally the kind of discussions that are held for diamonds and above, but what doTERRA corporate had noticed was that a lot of diamonds and platinums had ranked, and then not been able to hold rank, and they, they were kind of a bit worried, thinking, oh, something's going on here, there's lots of people ranking, but then they're not able to hold their rank. Um, and a lot of that when you have, we'll show you the belief pyramid in a minute, a lot of that um, when you get to platinum and diamond is about um, mentoring. So mentoring your team, becoming a leader of leaders. So it was really, really good for that. But all of you guys that are on here, I'm sure will be there next year as platinums. It was incredible. So there was about 80 or 100 people there um, and 10 10, 12 presidential diamonds. So all of our presidential diamonds are there and they really led the discussion. So there's lots of people chatting as breakout sessions and it was just a really good overview um, and talking about, you know, things like LRP, about doing, like Darren's going to talk about effective inviting, why LRP is the um, cornerstone of our um pipeline sort of income um the uni level and yeah talking about llv and things like that so yep. yeah i'll let you lead it so i don't waffle okay if if the audio gets a bit crazy or if um things start to drop out can someone just let me know because we are coming to you live from the under the awning in the caravan at the moment down at Woolai. so i think the internet's probably okay but just give us a yell if it doesn't work Okay, so growing your team. Um, we had a discussion with quite a few of the presidential diamonds about growing your team. And I guess that was sort of the, I guess the general gist of the whole two days was about um, getting your team really humming, getting more enrolments, uh, how to invite and all that sort of stuff. And, and I guess the the whole discussion around growing your team was helping people to break out of the grind. You know, it's not just about getting oils to people and that's, I guess, the result of what we do. But it's about helping people to um, firstly get the oils in their life um, to improve their physical or mental state of mind or, um, you know, improve the health or something like that. There's, there's obviously a reason that they're getting the oils in their life. But, um, and then it's about sharing the business opportunity as well. And, and I guess the way to sell that is to, to show people what it can do for other people. So when we went um, to the event this weekend, as Jess said, we, there were, what, 10 presidential diamonds there. And these presidential diamonds are all making seven-figure incomes. So more than a million bucks a year, which sounds absolutely ridiculous. Um, to me, mm. selling you know natural products, but these are all just normal mums, uh, normal couples who not celebrities. Yeah, they're not celebrities. They're not business people. 
They haven't done business degrees or anything like that. These people are just normal people who have been with doTERRA for at least a few years now. So they're the stayers um, and they're all making these seven figure incomes and they're more than willing to share with everyone how they've done it, how they can help us because they've been through all the same stuff that we've been through. Um, and like they said, you know, how many events can you go to and be mentored by 10 people who are making double what the prime minister of Australia is making. So there's, there's not too many people in Australia making more than a million bucks a year, unless they're high fluting business people who are and we don't know on anyone. the stock market or something. Yeah. Do we know anyone making more than a million dollars a year? No, other than these 10 people. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's about presenting that opportunity to people who start in our teams and letting them know about the business opportunity with doTERRA. And yeah, they're not going to be making a million bucks a year straight up, but that opportunity is there if you're willing to stick around and work hard um, and stay with it long enough. And it's totally achievable. We sat there mm -hmm. as platinums with three silvers and we looked at the people ahead in the front. So we were at the back, platinum was at the back, and then there were diamond, a row of diamonds and then the blue diamonds and prezzies. <coughs> and we're looking at the diamonds thinking, well, they only have one more silver and it's not that hard to get someone to silver. Mm. It's not actually that hard to build a silver team with three elites, um, even if you have to do it by yourself. So it's totally, totally achievable. And Vanessa, Jean and Paul, who were our first presidential diamonds in Australia, they had a lot um, to say about the lack of wellness advocates in Australia presenting the business opportunity to people. So for us to get to platinum, we need three silvers. So we are really looking at those three silvers, but what would it do to a family to get the mum mm -hmm. who doesn't want to go back to work to get her to premier or silver? That's what it's all about. And it's, so it's, it was a lot about taking you out of the scenario and just looking at that person, that fly and fly out family, the, the husband fly and fly out works two weeks on, two weeks off. What would that do to that family? If you could bring that husband home and not have to be away from his little kids. So it was really about taking it back to presenting that business opportunity to someone. They may not take it up and they may not take it up for an average of, they say about 12 months it takes someone to take up the business opportunity, but they need to know that it's there. And a lot of wellness advocates or people with doTERRA accounts are walking around, not even knowing that there's a business opportunity there. So mm. we don't need to push it hard, I guess, at the first workshop, but we do, do, do need to just mention it and let people know that it's there. And if they're interested, then let them ask the questions and we can lead them further along. Um, once your intro workshops done, but definitely so, be present, giving people that opportunity mm. to know that there is something there. You don't need to, like Darren said, you don't need to push it on anyone, but they do need to know that it exists. And we, and I especially have always been too scared. I don't want to be pushy, come across as being pushy. Um, so I've always had a lot of great trouble explaining that there is a business opportunity to people um, and we need to be doing that more. So that was a really mm. big take home. So for us, it's meant that we can travel Australia like we're doing now. Um, we don't have to be at the office. Uh, we can we can travel Australia and the income just keeps coming in. Um, and I guess the take-home message from that was now is the new later. You know, we need to be doing these things now, not saying, oh, I'll do that tomorrow or I'll do, I'll do that later on. It's, it's striking while the iron's hot. And if, <clears throat> you know, I had a lot of excuses before I started my doTERRA business. A lot of people do. A lot of new builders have lots of excuses. But if you don't do something now, then when are you going to do it? Because a lot of us are procrastinators. So if not now, then when? So that was another, someone had a slide that they put up and it said, if not now, then when? <clears throat> and that to me has rung true because life is short. Give it a red hot crack. Um, we're not, we're selling essential oils. We're not doing brain surgery. Mm -hmm. So if not now, then when? If not now, if, if not this Diamond Club, then when are you going to do Diamond Club? Mm. If not having four workshops this weekend, then when are you going to do those four workshops? Like now, like Darren said, now is the new later. So get it done now. Yep. Um, and that's why we're doing this because we could have procrastinated and thought we didn't take good enough notes. We can't get that message across of what we had um, two days of full immersion in the doTERRA culture and having all these mentors <laughs> around us. There was so much content 
And I know when Darren said that we should do this business training call that I thought, oh, we don't have, I, I, I don't, I can't give that message across, but. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just got to be done. And so if, if we can give you one tiny little tidbit of information that will change your business or your, your doTERRA life, then that's what we want to do. And so we're going to be talking about maximizing your doTERRA income placements, things like that. Yeah. That's really important. I think not just for you, but if you're to be a leader of leaders, then for your leaders and for your new builders. And we want to really fast track people through the early ranks of elite and even premier, like I think to get people to silver, I used to think premier, but now I think get people to silver. It doesn't matter where they fall in your tree or what silver does for you. We should not be thinking about that. Um, if we can get people to silver so that they can have more stability in their income, um, then that's what we need to do. We need to um, help people maximise their income. Now, that might mean getting them a $50 power of three, which is about $65 Australian dollars, or it might mean just informing someone that they should maybe look at putting their LRP on because they're sitting on a big volume, a big team volume that maybe they don't know about. There's plenty of people also that do just accidentally put a hundred point LRP order through and they get commission that comes into their back office that month, but they don't know where to find it. So if we're to be a leader of leaders, we do need to really start at the ground up and forget about don't forget about your business and what your tree looks like and what you need, but really think probably swing it a little bit more in the direction of helping other people. Um, can you speak yeah. to the percentages of getting people to, to oh, a higher yeah. yeah, we'll go, we'll go into that. Okay. Um, so the next subject was diamond club as Jess just mentioned. So I think we've spoken to quite a few people in the last couple of days about diamond club. So if there's anyone out there who, um, is thinking about Diamond Club and we haven't contacted you and you're or if you're in Karma's team thinking, this is in Karma's team too yep and if you're thinking about Diamond Club certainly talk to us or to Karma um, but I guess the main take home message about Diamond Club for our team and obviously Karma's as well was that we are more than willing to sponsor anyone who wants to do Diamond Club there's no question if you and, want to do it we will sponsor you and more than sponsor yeah, and we'll more than sponsor. We'll we'll obviously help out as many ways as we can. We'll do some mentoring and, and help you along the way as well. But, um, yeah, I guess the other thing with Diamond Club is there is um, entry requirements. So you do have to be premier. Um, you do have to have three personal enrolments in December and things like that. And then you do have to meet the criteria to stay in Diamond Club. But, yeah, if, if there's anyone out there who we haven't spoken to who wants to do Diamond Club and is not sure what it is or how, whether they qualify, just Or how to qualify. Without <clears throat> going into any more details about it. Um, but November is the month yeah, that you can make yeah, it happen. you need to do it now. If you're yeah. elite or even less than elite, you can still do Diamond Club because November is going to be a cracker of a month you'll see heaps of rank advancements this month. You will, yeah, the Facebook page, the business pages will be flooded at the end of November. This, the promotion of the 50-50 PV, um, this is the time to um, get your business cracking. So if not now, when? Mm -hmm. And especially because we know that last November there was a BOGO at the end of November. So we don't know if that's happening for sure, but we can hazard a guess that it is so that'll probably be in the last week of november and that means volumes will go skyrocket and yeah so especially if you're elite if you're premier definitely you should be doing diamond club if you're silver you absolutely should be doing diamond club it's a no-brainer it's four months you can do it people work full-time and they still do it it's four months and it will skyrocket your business. So when it comes to maximizing income, Diamond Club is right up there as a tip for maximizing your income yeah. quickly. We wouldn't be traveling Australia if we hadn't done Diamond Club. And it doesn't have to be a crazy, um, you know, basically a full-time job like we did with Diamond Club last year. Um, you know, you can do Diamond Club on the weekends and, you know, maybe one day a week or something. And, and still I didn't qualify. do it full-time. You're yeah. working for most of it. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, if you're thinking about Diamond Club, just at least know. do yourself a favor and find out about it. Cause if you yep. can qualify, even if you just do two months of diamond club, amazing, amazing yep. for your business. Hey, um, one of the really interesting subjects that we covered with Paul ovens on 
Monday and Tuesday was maximising your doTERRA income. Obviously, we're not all in, in this for a haircut. We do want to um, get some income out of it and we do want to maximise that income. Um, and the main, uh, I guess, to, to preface that, there was a bit of a study, a loose study done at the event um, just to sort of see how people's incomes fared against the global average for different ranks. Um, and it's it's quite obvious uh, that Australian doTERRA people do not generally achieve the average income until much later in their, their rank life, I suppose. So can I just butt in there and say that if you if you Google doTERRA income disclosure, like it's online, just go to Google Images and all the graphs will pop up of what a gold is, an average gold is getting paid. It's all in US dollars, what a what an average diamond is getting paid, all in US dollars. So if you can convert that to Australian dollars, then you can work out what percentage of whatever, if you're a silver, what percentage of the average global earnings that you are getting. Mm. And obviously Aussies are sitting when we enter that rank we are um don't have as you know it's not because they're averages so you're a baby diamond when you when you first rank diamond so you'll be at the bottom of that average however we know that it takes a lot longer to get if you're an australian doing a doTERRA business to get to that average um and the the reason being and the reason for that um they've worked out is that australians typically don't build for power three and not uh, and i guess percentage wise people in australia have lower power of three numbers than other other um, countries around the world so we've sort of been taught not to build for power of three and just let it happen which is fine um, so in australia that's, that's with- holding us back on our incomes so in australia we typically build for rank so that you get to a rank but your power of three hasn't filled out. Um, in America, they build straight straight away for power of three, which means it takes longer to get to rank, but you're getting that income through your power of three. So there's pluses and minuses for going either way, whether you build for rank or power of three. But the, the big message was that um, we shouldn't neglect power of three. We should, should all be looking at it in the background, um, look it up in your dashboard, and see who qualifies you for power three. So um, you need to get power three. Obviously everyone knows that you need to get three people on your front line who have um, order, uh, sorry, accounts with over 100 PV every month. And you need three people below those three people who are ordering with 100 PV every month to get you 250 a month. And then you need three people below those three people to get you 1500. So. Um, It's something to certainly think about and we'll probably be doing a little bit more concentration on that um, within our tree to try and get, we get our 50 P we get our 50 power of three, but we don't get our 250. And there's a lot of platinums in America, especially that get 1500 power of three. Um, And it's less about you and more so about the builders in your team. If you can help someone who's elite Mm. get their $50 power of three, that plays for half the, their LRP order. It just takes the pressure off when they're building their business. So, um, yeah, we have always built for rank and we still... We still will. Still we'll, will, but we will definitely be considering the strategy behind Power of Three. We'll look at those little holes. Builders. Those little holes in the team where we can slot someone in and potentially get Power of Three. And, I, and the main way of doing that, I guess, is with the wholesale customer. So... If you've got a wholesale customer who's sitting in your tree, who's regularly on LRP, they're ordering 100 bucks a month, and they're not in a strategic power of three position, that's an ideal opportunity to move that wholesale customer, um, change them into a wellness advocate, and put them in a hole where they can help you get your power of three. So very important to to have a look at that um you can go through someone's lrp history and see how much um their lrp orders have been for the last couple of months um and if you identify one of them that might be an opportunity to move them in there and and look at look after yourself um or any new builders you have in your team yeah 
Um, another thing that Paul mentioned was to, for everyone to look at their GCV, which is your gross commission value. Or volume. Now, uh, volume, sorry. Yep. So that number is written in the PDF um, summary that you get of your commission summary. If anyone so, doesn't know where to find that, just sing out. But actually, GCV or gross commission volume is probably not something you really need to look at unless you're silver or above, hey? Yeah. 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 But if, if you are silver or above, um, it's important that you try and maximise your GCV, which is all about placement of people, making sure that you're making the most of um, the commissions from your team. There's not much you can do about it, but there's, um, it's just a number that you can track. So what it, what it is, is is looking at your overall, your OV, your overall volume, um, which might be, for example, 10,000. But if your GCV is 5,000, it means you're only making commission off 5,000 out of your 10,000 overall volume. And that has to do with the seven levels of uni level. Yep. So maybe speak to us. That's a bit more of an in-depth person-to-person conversation, right? Mm, yep, yep. Um, Another another example was given someone some boffin somewhere has done a, a calculation the boffin. And, and worked out that <laughs> well, some nerd who knows numbers. Um, so if we're placing people below our level four, which okay, that's it's ideal to place people either on level one or level four of our organisation. But if you're placing in a perfect world, I yeah. have a problem with that statement. But if you're <laughs> if you get a new builder or sorry, a new wellness advocate comes along, um, they're not linked up to anyone and you're placing them below level four, you're potentially missing out on about forty percent of their total uni level throughout their life, which is a big number. So okay, what it's, what it's but we would not be. Can I just say that we would not be platinum if we we place people on nine yeah. levels deep, we're 11, helping, 12 levels deep. Yeah, we're helping our team. So if we've got someone that's down on level five and they're ranking, then of course we're going to help them rank. But in an ideal world, um, you want to be putting people either on your level one or your level four, if yeah. if it's a perfect world. And no, and obviously it never is. So just, yeah, that is just, you know, when your team gets bigger and you have Mm -hmm. the opportunity to place someone on level four or level seven, then obviously you would place on level four or above. And we shouldn't really be, well, you should be trying not to place people on levels two and three uh, because they're the levels that we potentially need to hand over enrolments to help um, people above them. Okay, that, that probably needs a whiteboard explanation, that one. Yeah. So we can go into that later. Um, so, for instance, Jane, who's on this call, Jane has <coughs> placed deep. We've placed deep. Um, and that's not something to be sad about. Yeah. Just know for future. You don't need to be kicking yourself because, Jane, you wouldn't be silver, almost gold, if you hadn't placed that deep. And we definitely would not be at our rank if we mm. had um, another thing to do, I don't know whether if there's anyone out there who, who does like spreadsheets, I'd, I've got a couple of income tracker spreadsheets. Um, all the higher ranked people in doTERRA have income tracking spreadsheets that are freely available. I can share ours with you as well, which we borrowed off someone else. Um, and what, what everyone does is tracks their income. So you can see the little fluctuations in your fast start, um, in your uni level, um, and in your total income, so. And not only uh, that, because the back office only really gives you three months. Three months, months yeah. So you need to be able to look at the year if you and look. the cycles and know that, oh, that was a BOGO month, okay, so we might be up for another BOGO month next mm. month. And so you need to be a record taker and that just, it literally, is, it's not long, is it? Two no. minutes at the end of the month? It takes a couple of minutes at the end of the month. I haven't done it for a couple of months and I need to go back and do it, but. Yeah, it just gives you an idea. So if you can look back through your income tracker for the last 12 months, you could see that, yeah, January is going to be pretty flat um, and you know how flat it's going to be on percentage compared to, you know, November or December and you can be ready for it um, and you can work out strategies of am I going to re-rank or am I going to slip back, things like that. And it's also really good for when you have new builders coming through. So you can say, I hit elite and this is how much I was making. I hit and I wasn't getting the power of three. Then I hit premier and I was getting the power of three and this is how much I was making. So yeah, it's just mm. much better. Once you get to silver, you get your own account manager and they can help you out with that. But until then, it's always 
especially if you like numbers, it's a good idea to keep the records. Mm. Um, I'll just briefly touch on mentoring. So the whole, the last two days up there was all about mentoring. So we were mentored by these senior presidential diamonds um, and we need to get better at our mentoring of our team and, and other people as well. So um, we're going to be amping that up. But it's, I guess the main takeaway for me was the mentoring needs to be a two-way street. So someone has to be willing to be mentored um, or, or recognise that they need a mentor um, rather than just someone ringing up and saying, oh, I'm going to mentor you. Um, it's, got to be, it's got to be accepted on both ends. So we're, we're certainly going to do some more work around that and try and impart our knowledge and share our knowledge with everyone. But um, yeah, yeah, so you can't it. just expect to be mentored because this is your business, just like this is our business. You can't expect to be mentored in it for, for it to fix everything um, because we are here to help you guys. Um, Karma's here to help you guys. Our uplines are here to help us and they're here to help you guys. Um, but at the end of the day, the buck stops with you. It is your business. You are responsible for your business. So in the early days, um, I definitely went looking um, for mentoring i paid for mentoring we i have recently paid for mentoring um i get mentored by my uplines i get mentored by a lot of people so you just need to be the reach out reach out and say i need mentoring i want to call um but at the same time you can't just turn up and expect oh i just had a mentoring call now i should be elite no mm. it is a two-way street and for us mentoring our team we definitely like yeah we need to up up level that yeah. but also with that comes expectations of when you have a personal private mentoring call then there's um you know a res uh, what's it called this recipe for success sheet that needs to be filled out before you actually get that mm. mentoring um and it has to be like darren said a two-way street so are you willing to show up for yourself we're willing to show up for you, but are mm. you willing to show up for you? Mm. So mm. unless you're willing to show up for yourself, then no one can fix your business. No one can build your business. No one can do any of that for you. Mm. So basically if someone wants to build slowly, then that's, that's awesome. That's fine. They're just going to, you know, go forward, go forward. And we're going to be there with them every step of the way. If someone wants to run and go really, really fast, then we're going to be running with them. But we need to know where you are. Are you mm. a slow builder or a fast builder? Or maybe you're someone that ebbs and flows. Um, it's all fine. There's no right or wrong answer. Yeah. But we are 100% there for our team. Um, so we're willing to be there for you if you're willing to be there for you. Mm. I think that was the take-home message. Yep. Um, the next subjects that we'll touch on was up level inviting, which was run by Jesse Rimers. So, so that this was, was a breakout session. This was a breakout session. So there was about 20 of us sat down personally with Jesse Rimers and she, um, gave us her ideas on what she does for up level, um, inviting and, and if question, you lots of questions backwards and forwards. So she's more than willing to invite it. Uh, uh, sorry, more than willing to impart the knowledge. But um, here's, a, here's a few tips anyway. So. Can I just start in there and say, yep. if you don't follow Jessie on social media, if you don't follow her on her YouTube channel, then you should. Yep. She um, is a phenomenal, she has a phenomenal mind and just a really, she's really, she's the life of the party. She's really yep. interesting to listen to and she doesn't gel with everyone and that's okay, but she is double diamond. So you need to sit up and listen to what she's saying. Yep. And she's what someone. What she does works. Yeah, and she is someone who is passionate about sharing doTERRA business yeah. skills with people that aren't in her team. She's passionate about helping people succeed with their doTERRA business, whether you're in mm. her team or not. Mm. So what she was talking about was um, uh, connecting with others, other businesses on Facebook and other people on Facebook. So never write anyone off. You know, she said she goes and, has, and does yoga with someone in a yoga studio. She likes the yoga studios page. She interacts with their posts. Um, and then all of a sudden the yoga teacher had a sore throat one day. So she raced down to the yoga studio, gave some samples of doTERRA and the next week the yoga, the yoga teacher enrolled. Now Jesse Rimes has 
Christ knows how many enrolments a week must be heaps. But she took the time out of her day to go down and help the yoga teacher. Um, and now she's got another contact. And probably um, you know, a she, yoga teacher is a really good yeah. person to build a business. She met someone in the park who had a kid the same age as her kid and they got talking and she gave her some samples of something to help her soar back or something either. And now that lady has enrolled and has become, I guess, a personal friend of Jessie's apparently. So, you know, it's all about not being too shy to say to people, oh, I have a doTERRA business or I sell essential oils or I sell natural products or I'm a wellness advocate. It's about just telling people and letting them make their own decision and it's the power of one so treat every person like gold because Mm. that yoga teacher that jesse jumped in the car and ran down and gave her a roller bottle to rub on her sore throat that yoga teacher could end up being your next silver or her next silver or her next Mm. diamond um so give everyone the time of day and give them your energy yep um Jesse's just started a new thing and this is probably a little bit more advanced for people, but it's, um, it's what it's called is a launch, uh, build, launch business mastermind. So what she does is advertises, um, through her page and says, if you want to, if you want to basically start a doTERRA business, I'm having a mastermind this weekend. She does all sorts of things like pays for accommodation and, and meals and flights for people. But I mean, at our level, we don't have to do that or we can't really afford to do that. So you can do it on a smaller scale, but it's all about just inviting people who are not, um, well, they might be enrolled with doTERRA in your team or they might not be, but it's inviting them in, getting into their minds, finding out what they want as far as business building, helping them um, and, and really working out where to place them on your team. So um, you may have noticed that Joe and Tracy um, from Additive Free Lifestyle did one of these recently too. So it was about, um, and Jessie did it to build her double diamond leg. Um, so she definitely had a reason mm. and um, she needed to build a diamond team very, very quickly. And this was a way of scaling. So the take home message that I got was about scaling your business. So maybe you just had a massive weekend it was about scaling your business but also about introducing the business opportunity so maybe you just had a massive weekend you did four workshops um and now you have 20 people to enroll awesome how awesome would that be um but then the flip side of that is you need to nurture and look after these people and be really successful at um supporting them and doing their welcome call wellness consult how you need to start so you don't burn out yourself you need to start thinking of ways to scale your business Mm. so that might look like a zoom call like we're doing now for maybe had four workshops and you had four people that they all pretty much know each other because they sat in someone's lounge room for two hours listening to you or mingling and having cups of coffee so you would have four welcome calls and put those people in from each workshop into a zoom call and give them their welcome call in a scaled way. Um, And that's what Jessie was doing with her business builders mastermind Mm. is getting new builders inspired and educated in a very quick way. So two days. So it's intensive. Those builders, she said they left with, um, Basically, ready to start their doTERRA business. They they knew all about the back office. They knew all about the income um, plan, the compensation plan. They knew how to run a workshop. They knew how to walk out of there and start straight away and get going. So definitely look at what you're doing in the early days. Most of you will be doing one-on-one wellness consults and that serves your business. It so serves your business because you're getting that personal connection. But if you find that you are getting to that point where you're like, I can't do the wellness consults. There's too many of them. That was me during Diamond Club. You need help. You need help. Mm. You need a... um, You can't advertise for that help within your team. Yeah, and one of the one of the things that she does is, um, you know, rather than just advertise and let every Tom, Dick, and Harry in, um, you know, obviously if you advertise a, a position that has an income, a potential income attached to it, you get all sorts of people that will want to come in and think it's a get rich quick quick scheme. She puts some conditions around it, so she says that these people who um, join her course, they must be they must sign up with a big kit. So it's got to be a nature solutions kit or an oil sharing kit. There's no two ways about it. You can't just sign up with three oils. Um, Otherwise you don't get to go to the business training. 
um, those people have to have one or two workshops booked in as soon as they walk out of that workshop. They can't just walk in, walk out, and then not do anything because she's putting a lot of time into these people. And money. Yep. Um, so it, it requires, she's, she's committing a lot of her time, but she requires a commitment back from those people. So it's, it's basically people promising to stand up and, and stand up and do something, which I thought was a really good idea. So really good for the silvers and above on that to sow that seed for you guys. But for everyone who is less than that, think about scaling your business activity. You, the last thing you want to do is burn out. Everyone, like a lot of doTERRA business builders, love working their doTERRA business. Like it's not work to them. And that's definitely, you know, if I could work 60 hours a week on my doTERRA business, I totally would because I absolutely love it. But it's a good recipe for burning yourself out. So if you're finding that, um, you know, it might be mentoring your new builders or doing a business webinar um, that, you know, instead of mentoring people one by one. So doing something like this, just to introduce the business opportunity to people, maybe do that once a month. It might be doing group wellness consults. Obviously personal is better, but if you can't, you do it, you know, the best way that you can. Um, yeah. Anyway, so. Not all of us can rent an Airbnb house and get caterers and do two days worth of um, business training or make, yeah. pe- you know. You just got to scale it to what? Scale, what scale, afford. scale. Yep. Okay. And the last subject for tonight is about LRP. So as we all know, we all know how awesome LRP is, but lots of people have differing LRP acceptance rates on their team. So there was one lady at this breakout session um, who had a, an 80% um, LRP rate within her team, which is pretty friggin' awesome. Um, obviously works wonders for her volume. Um, her people are getting really good product. They're getting, they're regularly reordering, but it was all about how do you do that? So, um, th- uh, the first thing was to help people set up LRP. So do a Facebook live, do a zoom or sit down and walk people through it step by step. Um, one person said that they set up LRP for everyone before they walk, walk out of their workshop, which is fine. You might not do it at the workshop. You might do it on the, on the day after or whatever. Um, but it's all about, I guess doing your workshop, telling people how awesome the top 10 oils are and then they need to get the top 10 oil kit. Um, but then it's also about telling them about the LLV and all these products that they need to be reordering every month and setting that up for them so that they walk out of there with that set up and they, they go straight on to LRP. So a lot um, of, um, you know, when you become the master introducing the idea of LRP and top tip number one is don't call it LRP, call it doTERRA's awesome loyalty program. Mm-hmm. Um, when you become the master at that and when you become a masterful communicator of that at your workshops, then you'll have people that want to sign up onto it straight away. So PJ and Ura, I mean, they're going presidential diamond this month. So I'm not sure if they hit it. I mean, last month, so I'm not sure if they hit it, but um, they're people, we went to business training with them and they set up people's LRP on that day. And I just, I've never been mm. someone who can communicate that fully. So I always help people set it up in their wellness consult. So whatever way works for you, but if you are a really good communicator and I'm working towards that, I hope in 12 months time, I can say that I help the majority of my people set up on enrollment, the LRP, but um, just work with what you've got. So work with your schools, work with your strengths. And you've got to give them a reason to go on LRP as well. So, okay, they've just been to a workshop. They just bought a $330 kit. Why would I want to go on LRP? I've got all, all the oils I need. Um, the big takeaway that I got was to talk about the consumables. They're the big things that everyone needs to replace every month and that's what they're going to put on their LRP order. And that but, means like the supermarket swaps. Yeah. People don't necessarily want to buy extra oils every month just to add to their kit on LRP. You need to, tell, you need to be introducing people to LLV, which is the main thing that people will buy on their LRP. They need to know about and um, LLV. If you're not on LLV, do yourself a favour and get, get on, on it. it. Yep. Um, um, you need to talk about the... Because you can't talk about it if you don't know how good it is and yep. how what it feels like. Yep. The toothpaste, the conditioner, the um, 
deodorant, uh, like all of those things. The deodorant, yeah, the, the cleaning concentrate. Cleaning concentrate, the washing powder, uh, sorry, the washing concentrate, all the stuff like that. Um, people need to know about and that's the stuff that will fill up their LRP order every month and keep them on LRP. And that's also the way you can really get people connected into the loyalty program because once they see how easy it is to buy like a one litre bottle of cleaner concentrate or how much, it, I don't even know how much mm. it is, like is it one litre? Like maybe 900 mils. Um and what that bottle does, they will be hooked. Like I have not stopped buying that cleaner concentrate since I first had it. And the same with the toothpaste and the same mm. with the shampoo and conditioner, which has like a cult following. Um, doTERRA has heaps of products that once you're hooked into that loyalty program and you're buying them and you're getting your chipping and your points back, people see that it is cheaper to swap that product out and not buy it at the supermarket anymore. Or so it's about still the health food shop. supermarket swaps. Mm. Supermarket swaps will strengthen your LRP retention rate, but people need to be educated on that because they don't know what to do with a bottle of cleaner concentrate. And someone had a graphic of, and I wish we'd done this because we just moved out of our house and we threw out, finally threw out all the, you know, the three quarter empty Domestos bottles and the spray and wipes and all that stuff. I should the have taken a photo of it. at the but, back of the laundry cupboard that hadn't been. Yep. Someone had a photo of all that stuff that they used to buy at Woolworths and the health food shop and had a value against all those things and said, we don't buy these things anymore. These are the doTERRA things that we buy on our LRP with the 30% discount plus the 25%. Um, and, and, you know, they're, they're basically getting delivered to their door for a 50% discount and they don't have to buy all this other stuff at Woolworths. That, that was really And it's powerful. low tox and not yeah. harmful. Yep. So if someone can, you know, if someone's got a heap of that stuff at home, take a photo of it, put a price against it and show people that you don't have to spend 80 bucks, 90 bucks a week at Woolworths cleaning your house and, and all those toxic products. Um, you can put it all on LRP and get it delivered to your door in three days' time. So retention. Retention is something that we, we've never talked about. Um, I've looked at our retention. Oh, thanks, Jane. 375 mils. Oh, there you go. I'm so good with volumes. I'm um, not. Um, it does go a long way for 375 mils, though. That's a stubby. Say. You should know how much it is. I do not know what a stubby is. It looks like a lot bigger than a stubby. Anyway, um, lasts a lot longer than a stubby. Retention is a word that we don't talk about enough and we need our builders to be talking retention a lot more. So know your numbers, own your statistics, know where to find your retention rate. And how you do that is you go to your doTERRA back office, which I'm going to now, and then you go to the top right-hand corner. Mm, cracky. Well, Jess is doing that. Um, Someone came up in the breakout session and said, oh, how do you get people onto LIP? And one person said, "I, in my sales pitch at the end, I give people three, you know, three options on how they can join doTERRA. They can join, they can join by paying retail and then basically fob that off and say, no one wants to buy retail. The second way you can join is to buy um, wholesale which is what we generally push everyone to. We say, oh, you know, you can buy wholesale. Who you would get your buy 20, retail? You get your 25% off. Okay, that's great. So that's what we're generally enrolling people with. The third way is you can um, buy wholesale plus points, which is real RP. So you've got to tell them wholesale plus points is the best way to go. Um, you know, that's just a one sentence, this is how you join. And then people, people are inquisitive. They're going to want to, they're going to ask you, how do I get this wholesale stuff plus points? What does that mean? What does it do? And that's when you pad that out, I suppose. So the way you find your retention rate, so that is people that are reordering and doTERRA has the best retention rate of any network marketing company. And it's not going to let me do it, I don't think. Hopefully our internet hasn't dropped out. Okay, so what you do is you go to consultant services and then you go to genealogy and summary genealogy and there you will see your percentage of active members. And that is how that is your retention rate and you should be tracking that. Um, doTERRA's average is, I think it's, is it 65 or 68%? 65, I think. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, you can definitely work at improving your retention. So know mm. your retention rate and track that. And I guess the main thing 
for, for keeping people on LRP is to get them on the LLV. Um, so I've been taking mine for a little while. I've probably been taking half a dose, but I'm about to go on the full dose. Yeah, you already are, um, aren't you? Well, I am, yeah. Um, and I'll do a, I'll do a separate Facebook live. I'm not going to go into all the details now because we're out of time. But there was some really interesting information about LLV and why it is so good and how everyone needs to be on it. Like it doesn't matter how good your diet is. It doesn't matter how how well you eat. You know, if you buy organic chicken every week, yeah, wow, that's that's really awesome for you. But it's still not going to. Um, give you a full balanced diet there's so many little things in, in our diets that, that are missing so i'll do a separate facebook live on llv uh, and there's plenty there of information a- out there there's a there's a study if you type in llv or doTERRA llv study um there's some some uh, technical information out there about a study that was done and it basically does wonders for the for ev- it did wonders for everyone who was on the study it was only quite a small study it was 18 people but they tracked 18 they they tracked a heap of critical um health indicators in people's systems you know by doing blood tests or whatever it was and all of the things that they were tracking or, or testing for increased and improved for these people so it's doTERRA's um, number one selling product for a reason. There's a reason. Um, there's no reason why you wouldn't be on it. Yeah, there's a Does whole it? backstory to how LLV got started. It was the brainchild of, was it Rob Young? Um, one of the owners. Look up Rob Young's LLV video as well. It's pretty funny. It's, it's hilarious, actually. And um, there's also on our Frequently Asked Questions page, you will see Dr. Axe's information. But basically, it's incredibly bioavailable. You don't get the fluoro yellow we. If you're not on it, get on it because you will. Um, <clears throat> oh, I'm just reading. Your world. Yeah. Yep. So. Um, okay. So that's pretty much so it. So, Kate's just anyone can. We will go into more. There's heaps more. I've got so many slides. Um, oh gosh, I can't see that. But so many slides on everything that we spoke about. So you know, utilizing your strengths and tap rooting and working cross line and getting cross line um, people to help you and having a vision and your why. And we'll regurge all that information in a bit more detail in the next couple of weeks. But at the moment I want to do a Q and a, Hey, yep. So take it off. Record. So we'll just switch the recording off now. And then if anyone's got.